quick vibrato exercise for the day. If you've been watching my other uh, pedagogy videos, you might have heard me talking about the three elements of tone production, like the uh, sounding point or contact point, I also call it highway, uh, bow weight, bow speed, and um, I do have several vibrato videos, and so um, I've been referring to kind of combining all of them, but I haven't demonstrated anything uh, exactly regarding that yet. So I just wanted to give you a little exercise that you could try out. You could do basically any combination you like. So, so basically I'm going to incorporate different elements and you can add or subtract and try different tone colors. So for example, if I took a, um, like a very light floaty medium speed, kind of near highway four this is a little bit more on the fingerboard side so I call this one two three is in the center four five so around highway four if I take that but my vibrato is very like wide for example like that is probably not the best combination it could happen depending on what mood you're trying to create but typically if you have you know this kind of um, bow you want to have a little bit narrower vibrato maybe faster you can do a narrow but slow vibrato so that would be a very kind of calming sound right but if you could do a faster one right then that would be like a piano espressivo or something where you want to create a very passionate sound and uh, you know just very kind of yearning and a little bit you know a lot more tense I guess um, so whatever whatever you think I mean everybody has a slightly different opinion on what a certain sound on the violin sounds like like they think of the color green or somebody thinks of the color orange or reminds you of you know um, cotton balls or reminds you of you know something something else like a fluffy you know teddy bear sweater or something so it could be any anything but um, but creating this uh, type of color is a lot of fun and you can kind of deliberately practice it another one I really love I love uh, the G string sound so you can do like um, you know very you know so I'm like, this time it's something that you might hear at, in the beginning of Zigon by Ravel or something like that so this kind of sound so um, what I'm doing is I'm playing a lot more bow pressure I'm more near the bridge so I guess this is about highway two it might meander from 1.5 to 2 and um, again I'm doing a, a fast vibrato but this time it's wider so I'm gonna go I think I need to put rosin on my bow so That takes a lot of energy but it's a great sound to have in your arsenal so you know you just take an ingredient so this time maybe I can do like something middle of the road right and um, try different string maybe E string so uh, so oh sorry that's not middle of the road so This time I'm doing, I could do wide vibrato, or I could do medium, right? Maybe not so fast this time, a medium speed, medium a width, right? I'm doing kind of medium slow bow speed, you can see that, right? And I'm staying near highway three, maybe a little bit more this way because I'm a bit higher. So when the string shortens, you want to slightly come near the bridge anyway so i'm trying to be more like highway three but slightly with modified a modified highway three right so i'm not putting too much weight on but there's a little bit of weight if you go slower right then it then it sweetens the sound so you can hear the difference right this is kind of like medium and then if i slow it down and then get a little bit heavier i think if I get a little bit heavier, I have to come closer to the bridge. Then it changes the sound to more of a dolce. I'm trying not to speed up my vibrato, so... 
This is a gorgeous sound. For those like slower moments where you have to be very lyrical, you know, a nice, beautiful legato, melodic, lyrical moment. So um, I would just do it for, you know, eight bows, 10 bows, 12 bows. Um, pick the color, try things out. You might be surprised at what combinations sound better than what you think or if they sound different than what you think. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that exercise.